Hey, hey, my peeps, my peeps, my peeps. Good evening. Yeah. Promise, eh? Me did ever come back. I mean, never had to take too long. So, I want to get straight into it this evening. I want to wonder if I'm me alone or overall, some people just are hypocrite when them. When you put something to them and them tell us, oh, if I didn't, them in another position, them would do it because, you know, I the rule of the people them house or them are just be a hypocrite because when me learn in a life, all my years span this land, all my 40 years, thank God, if you allow people to treat you how they want to treat you, they will always keep treating you that way. You have to put your foot down. You have to fall for something. If you don't fall for not, if you don't stand for nothing, you fall for anything. Anyway, let me get straight to my point. The job woman said I walk off was doing babysitting. So while doing the babysitting job now, me did leave and then them call me back and me go back. Pair of twins, two girls. So in the house, working with them, me not step out of my bones because I'm never comfortable in nobody else. Mm -mm. Anytime I'm going to work, work I always remember say, I know for me yard. I mean, I love nobody yard but my own. So I keep my bones. Anyway, me in there work, the baby them go down to sleep about 12 midday. So when them go down to sleep, I'm supposed to take my lunch break. And the mother said, I'm supposed to give them two hours nap. Whether them wake up or not, make them stay in them crib. Figure it out, cry it out, whatever. The only thing she said to me, say, if them are cry for a long extended period of time, go and check on them because maybe I do the them do that and them want clean and them now go sleep with the do the pan them. Me not no problem with that because me and you all are we are watch as an adult. And if you have do the pan you, you're not going to want to sleep. If you're evil, you know? All right. So the day in question now when me have to walk off, call it me check the Friday and don't go back. She always has some little snobbish thing like, oh, make sure you're not there on your phone because me appear for watch your kids them. And I'm like, I'm not on my phone, but what if my phone ring and my mother call me or any one of my immediate family member call me? Most I not answer my phone because remember, I am here with your kids. So while my phone ring me, I have to answer it for see what I want with me them. She make her comment. Then if even if the phone ring, what you can do from here and whatever, whatever. Me say, well, even if me can't do nothing from here, me I got answer. And I'm telling you from now, therefore, I don't want a problem when time the phone ring. Come here, tell her from now, so me I got answer my phone. All right, long story short. She makes some other little comments I'm in a piano mind. Me not go call her racist. But I'm going to call her prejudice. I'm going to tell no women lead to. All right. She's Asian. Chinese looking type of people. Him. Yep. Husband is German. So I two mixed race. Uh, the living room is big. So she sectionalized the living room. Where she have one area for the twins. Them play. And them cage it round. So them buy some plastic crate thing. Looking like a gate. So the husband make them. Build them round in a local section area and bad off the sun say yes I them play area. Still the living room. It consists of a couch, a ottoman, a big four corner one where it look like a sack, and it look a shelf shelf them with them stuff. Alright, fine. So when she said to me the day say when me put them down and me hear them cry me for always check, me say you know what? Me now Start eating my food and then baby do that. I have to get up left my food and go clean do that and come back to my food. All when me and wash, it's a turn off for me. Whether it's be baby or adult, because I deal with both. Me do home healthy and me do nursing home, me do children all around. So you have to be flexible in this country. So I sit down, I come downstairs back after I put them in a den crib and they weren't sleeping same time. So I said to her, I said, there's an area where she have section uh, you know she put three chairs so three single upholds to chair over the area a book stand a middle table what them call them centerpiece and our fireplace and some little more one table yes and one table this we never know say i am the slave and that's the master's quarter as my mother would have said the slave enough is sitting over the master's quarter so enough enough but 
If me not good enough to sit down in a year chair, me not good enough for work with you. Me have a friend who say she would stop and she would left out of the work. So me say, well, that is your opinion, not mine. Whatever you take from people, me not take it from them. And whatever you might not take, me might take two with different. All depends. So when me notice that the baby them not fall asleep, me say, me now go upstairs, me now go eat my, my lunch. Yet. So I say, all right then, me go. just like my spirit just said to me, say, ask Sky if you can sit down. Come in and normally ask Sky because the place big, so I normally go sit down over the baby and play here around the dining table when I eat my food, and that's it. But that little area that open up, so I think so three chairs they don't know it open up to anybody. Little did I know that, as I say, I am the slave in a fair head and that's the master squatters. So, she work from home three days of the week. So, I said to her, I say, the baby, them not sleeping yet. I don't want to start eat. Come here for like two hours for my hand. So, I don't know. And next thing when I start eat, and uh, I forget up. So, can I sit on one of these chairs? She said, no. <laughs> no, with a little hypocrite smile. One thing with them, them smile and kill you dead. Yeah. So me say, okay, and I said nothing to her. I walk away. She said she rather me sit over the plate area. That means she tell me say which part my work. And that's what me for bone. Me never know when me never know so no water bones cause I know your bedroom and your bathroom. And it's certainly not secluded from the wall of the house. It's open. So me never know it's water bones for me and my but I'm not going enough. Well me not know about nobody but here on me take it. Me take it as you have that little area there as your quiet time and nobody enough to come sit down there whether they want be aired or anything they want be only you and your family. And if me good enough for work and look after your kids them, me supposed to can sit there so too. That me take it as. Because it's not your private quarters me that sit down in a corner of your bedroom. Yeah, it's a woman area. So in my sense that is being prejudiced. And me take my paycheck the Friday and I walk through our door and I texted her. Come in a like confrontation, you know, come with settings. Out of the mouth, yeah, yeah, it not nah nothing. It not nah no gurgle. It not nah no, it not nah no gurgle and no gurgle. Why can't listen to the ass? Yeah. So, to me, no more want to stay. I don't want to confront her. I just wait till I collect my pay. And I go through our door and I just simply text her. I say, I won't be coming back Monday. Because if I'm not good enough to sit in your chair, I'm not good enough to work with your kids. Me wrong, I'm right. People come and talk to me. That's why I say me want to make this one chit chat. But then I'm in bed and I say, Father God, I want to enhance my YouTube channel. Away from coming and talking about the jobs that I've been through in America and things will happen. When I can name a little segment of my channel, and Father God put it in my spirit. He said, name it, let's keep it real. People me want to know, work with me on this. Because I want to start a little different section of my, of my channel. When you let's keep it real where we can talk. I want to go live and talk and interact with people. If I'm me alone, I have a certain type of feeling. I agree, I am thin skin, yes. But I work with a lot of people over the years. Me in America, I'm working on them house. I mean, I make nothing bad at me. You have to really disrespect me for me make it bad at me. So at the end of the day, it's just a job for me. And I am being professional. Because that's why I never answer. Because I never had be professional. I never answer. Knowing me, I'm still. But I just let it slide. Because me was a main event in those kids' life. When me go back there, sir. Them at 10 months because I was working on them three months. Something happened. I had to leave. And then by the time they seven, eight months, she called me back. So going on to nine, 10 months, I couldn't go back when she called me. That's why I said 10 months. So when me do go back, them at 10 months already because when she called me, me at work. I made a travel back home. So when me do go back, it was, them was 10 months. Then now creep, go, then now walk. Them no want to eat as usual because them born with acid, acid reflux problem on them stomach. So, you'd have to have a nurse where I feed them specifically different from a nanny. So, it was two of us used to work in that house with those twins. 
And when I go back, I have to start do everything over again. One of them had diarrhea. I don't know where them carry her who screech. The creature like them just left them up because I threw them a cry and not eat. And then just have gas and pit me just to do the so. I clean do the till I don't know where to do my back hurt me. She chief off everything do all them. I put all kind of antibiotics now work. And my sister went in the same feel like me. I call her, text and say to her, say, me I gonna ask you when I can buy and I put it in my pocket because I don't care. I make my job easier. Me I can't go feed them pity by mouth, but my job is easier. And I buy one of them like baby bar mix for Amazon and use it and the baby dry up in no time. All them mind think I wouldn't give me a use. Pity them no know. We are Jamaican, we know if you turn around make fashion and furthermore, me now make my work harder. Me and make my work easy. So after me finish up now. Clean them up, get them back from farm. Baby, start what? Baby, I eat because when me say, what me your mouth? Pay me mouth for what me. No, no, no. <laughs> Father, I left breakfast to me. Me got here 11 to 6 in the evening. Me have a 7 hour shift. And when me got here, the breakfast of the father, I give them from 8 o'clock. Him key and finish it. You understand me? And at the mother, sometimes I have to finish it. Or me, well, at 11 o'clock, 3 hours. Me I forget them for eat everything and it work because I mean a play. As I say I work me go, me no go for play. When it's play time with them, I play with them. When it's work time, I work time. And if you abuse a child, when them see them, I go cry. When them see me a man in time, when me come through that door and they hear my voice, father lap, mother lap, them I run out and I come out of the cage and ah, ball for me take them up. So you must know I wasn't doing them. Nothing, my people. Nothing. You understand me? But my stern when it come on to kids because my grow minds them stern and my stern overall. So, I know it's a difference of culture so you can't do, do what you do with your kids then. But when it come on to food and them something that you have to make sure the child eat or else the child will feel like it's okay if you not eat and spit up. Then they will come back to me. So all of this being said and done, me bring them back from where them was. Baby get weighty get fat father the pan wow baby feel good mother the pan baby feel good baby fat like mud fish i eat food and i do them thing so me bring them back from where them carry them i don't know when them bring them but then so them bring them at a creature and the creature never had to take care of them so then he want a full-time nanny until them about two so i stayed there till they were what 17 months one year i had so that a one year 12 months make one year and five months yep so, at so long I stayed there, I was supposed to stay there until they were two. But with that fierceness and that ill mother and that prejudice of that woman, I couldn't stay no more. And I hold it more like a snobbish comment you make. But when I remember the bills, then I stay. But this one, I never go let it slide. Because as I said before in the first part of my video, if you fall for not, if you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. I mean, now make them walk over me like carpet in America. Not me. People must respect people who I work with them. If me not clean enough to sit down in your chair, why should I be feeding your kids, taking care of them? You're not afraid. Me give them something when you're not around, even though camera there. People still can't do things behind camera. So why you have me working with them then? If you scorn me, because that to me is scorn. You scorn the person who is working with you. They are not clean enough to sit in your area that you call your personal space. And there's nobody sitting there. Because if she and her husband would there, was there, I would have bright myself. Go ask Skype me can't sit down there. You understand me? Ask she, nobody not dead there. Early, early 12 o'clock in a day. So I just have put this to everybody. And me I say, people... They're not easy in this country, but I always remember this. Never be too desperate to keep a job that you can walk off when then talk certain things. Because what I believe in is good, better, best. People, 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 I want to start my little keeping it real. I want to interact with you guys. I want to build my channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe. No, like first, share, subscribe. Whichever terms it want going on. Have a good day. And I'm going to come back with one more. That's why I say people different from people. Because you meet good people, you meet bad ones. And you just have to do what you want to do out of it.